Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to My Sports Wire. Phil Chapman here along with Monica Williams and Bill Ladinsky. Uh, we did not uh, get the internet, so you're watching this tape delayed right now. Uh, they're working on it as we speak. It's 6.53 p.m., so theoretically we've got seven minutes until uh, they can figure it out. They see us online. We're, we do have internet, but we don't have connection from our program to the internet. Uh, so we apologize for that. Oh, so they will get to be able to see the game. Well, it'll be tape delayed. Oh, it's not live streaming. That's correct. Gotcha. Yes, well, uh, this is the super sectional, so we're going to try to focus in on uh, broadcasting the game uh, as if we are broadcasting it live, and then uh, we'll let you work out the details after that. Uh, well, Bill uh, and Monica, why don't you tell me about uh, the opponent. We know about the Lady Norrisman, 38-2 and two coming into this. This is their third time in the Elite Eight in that many years. They've been there four times. They've won them uh, the last several times. Uh, why don't we uh, talk about the Dakota Indians? Go ahead. They come in with a record of 35-4 and four on the season. Their conference record is 11-1. and one. They're in a really, really excellent conference as far as a level of competition within theirs. They are actually finished the season third in their conference. Lena Winslow took first, Galena second, Dakota third, and Duran fourth. So some quality. Those four teams have all been in the top ten most of the year. So they're coming in with some great competition in their regular season schedule. Their four losses came to Lena Winslow, Durand, Marion Central Catholic, and Belvedere North. So two of those being conference teams, and I believe the, one of them is a 2A, Marion Central Catholic, and Belvedere North is a top-ranked 3A team that's still alive. In the Sweet 16. Billy, tell me about some history well, of uh, Dakota. They have a very good history. Back in 2011, they were the state champs in Class 1A. They bumped up to 2A after that, which they've resided in since then until this year. They're back to 1A, and they also have two second-place trophies in, in 2A back in 2012 and 2014, losing to Deer Creek Mackinac in both campaign so wow you know they, they've been incredible they have uh, 17 regional championships in school history uh, dating back to the 70s so you know they're they're a very solid program athletically overall Dakota is remarkable in boys football boys um, wrestling they've got a great tradition very partisan for crowd here tonight they're only 10 miles away Phil yeah and a beautiful situation. Why not? Uh, you know, our condolences go out to uh, the Nash family, uh, yes. the, the Mathries, the uh, Holmans, uh, uh, all of those families, Westerfields, yes. Westerfields uh, that are mourning the loss of Emily. And uh, we are just God. praising the Lord that she's she's with the King. Uh, and uh, sorry to. Um, not be there tonight with them. Absolutely. She's a 2006 grad of Newark High School. We'll go to the national anthem here. All right, well, Billy, let's talk about the players on uh, the Indians of Dakota, and Monica will talk about some of the newer keys. Uh, Attacking-wise, they everything goes through uh, Tabitha Tolke, the junior, the daughter of the head coach. 
526 kills this year. Um, I watched some video on her. They, they go to her early and often. Uh, she also uh, leads the team in digs with 326, and uh, she's just a, a force. Uh, their setter is senior uh, Laura Rankin, uh, 654 assists this year. Um, but most of the time, she's going to Tabitha Tolkien, and that's what we're going to have to stop tonight. Yeah, over 1,000 attacks for Tabitha, a little over 200 more than there's Tabitha right there, a little bit more than uh, 200 more than Maddie Malone has in, in her current season. Monica, some of the keys for the Lady Norsemen. They're going to have to come out strong from the get-go. Those are some uh, tips that we've heard from other teams, just... Um, that the early dominance in the game. We are a strong defending team, and that serve pass game is going to be really important for us. That transition uh, coming against a strong team, also to have that strong block presence at the net. Yeah, very, very crucial piece right there. Go ahead, Bill. One of the other things is keeping Taylor Christian in the moment. Yep. She's uh, this is her really first game under the big lights in a crowd like this. The seniors have to keep her, keep her. If she makes a mistake, just move on. Absolutely. And, you know, she's she's come on, and I think she's going to do a good job and rise to the occasion tonight. We are almost at standing room only here at this gym. Oh, it's uh, I don't know. We have 1,500, 2,000. I don't, I don't have any idea where our counts are now. It's got to be over 1,500 for sure. The, the capacity somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,800. All right, well, we tried one more time, friends, uh, to get the broadcast going. Uh, we thank all of our sponsors. We will have that game. Uh, we still can't produce this game without the sponsors, uh, even tape delayed, uh, just so you know that. Even though it's not a live stream at this moment, uh, that is still required if we're to post the game, which we will. Uh, we will give it to uh, all of you uh, and make sure that you have that. All right, we're about underway. I, I was saying, Phil, that the girls have been there. They've been under the bright lights. They're, we've got some captains here that are extremely seasoned and ready to go, and the size of this crowd is not going to bother them. And I think they relish in the opportunity to play in, in a match like this. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, they have none, none of the Dakota girls, at least from a high school standpoint, uh, have played in this type of match. No, uh, they haven't even got to the sectional championship. In fact, since 2014, Phil, they've only won one regional championship. So yeah. none of these girls have been involved in in, in playoff uh, atmosphere like this. A lot of energy here. Uh, a lot of posters. A lot of extra things out on the fans. Uh, it's just so awesome to see the student support here, as well as support from their communities. Referees are taping up some metal they saw. That would be the last thing that we'd want. Uh, I'll tell you what, to move this game from Freeport Aquin High School, to, this was mandatory because yes. I've been to Freeport Aquin and there's no way they could have fit this many people. They definitely had a, a challenging route to get here. In the regionals, they played Pecatonica, beat them in two, played Duran for the championship, beat them in three. The sectionals went to three against Fulton in the semis, and the championship, the tightest three sets ever against Galena. So they've had a, a very challenging route to get route to get to this match. And the Lady Norsemen are excited, and we are ready to play some ball. I see Maddie, Maddie Chapman and Maggie Scott really focused and dialed in. Absolutely. They're going to have the serve first. Dakota will. I know that because Chapman steps out. She'll rotate in the front row right off the bat, right after the serve. They'll go back, start with their strong server, looking to get a quick side out right away. Looks like number eight. No, at nine. I nine. Think Abby Schluter, freshman. Here we go. It's 7:04, super sectional time. They'll set Malone right off the bat. Malone just rolls it over, changes Got it up it. on him. Oh, they pull it over. Up to KJ. KJ touches it. Nothing doing there. They'll send it out wide to Malone. Malone got a perfect line. She wasn't hitting hard. She's, she knows that her aggression is up. She's just placing it in a good spot. Chapman in, Maggie Scott back. Don't think Maggie's gonna serve 24 in a row. <laughs> That'd be nice. 
Not but happening. We'll set the right side to start. Oh, and a big block, but they come up with it. But no, it's a lift. We'll call it a block. Chapman and Malone right off the bat. That was what we were hoping for. Scott with second serve, 2-0 Lady Norseman lead. They hit it Ow. deep. That's what happens when you get when you get a block, you start hitting high. Again, a lot of pressure. Newark has been in these games for the last three years. Message Rocky, let him know that we're not live. Okay. And an ace, ace for Megatron. Megatron. They're gonna call a timeout for nothing. And they're calling a timeout. All our timeouts sponsored by Mark's Auto Service. 815-695-5500. Bill, go ahead. We had a block on that, Bill? Is yeah, that we got a block from Maddie Chapman okay. and Maddie Malone. Well, listen, a nice start, but this match is going to be a long time. It's good to get off to a good start. Monica, you said that. Very key in, a, in an atmosphere like this. Silence the crowd. Not that we could silence them because no, there's plenty of them here. We'll try in between games to get, we're gonna restart the computer and see if that affects it uh, as they've now opened us up completely. I'm posting the scores point by point on my Facebook page, so if you are following there. Well, they're not, they can't hear us, Monica. Oh, duh, hello. <laughs> I was wondering where yeah, you're going hello. with that. Maggie Servant, she looks at Coach for a quick spot. They'll go to the libero. Tough back row set. Yeah. Good grab She'll there. get something good here. They go to Chapman, Chapman off the hand for her first attack. Tolke touches it and they Great block it. Nice. By Naomi. And oh, and an overpass kill for Maddie Malone. That was such a smart move. She just took that power dink to the corner. Uh, fantastic. Newark racing out front. Deersons are texting uh, 5 0. Maggie Scott with her fifth serve. I am posting the scores as I can every single He'll set back to the nine again nice and block. block it, but it's got out of play. Bump. They got the block completely. They just need to turn it a little bit there. They went to the right side that time, went away from Tolkien. Yeah, that was what they tried right off the bat. Got blocked, and now they're going to bring in their next server. Five to one, Lady Norseman lead. Short serve, they'll go to Cassidy. Maggie Scott will set Malone. Nearly back row, and she gets an attack on, on nothing except for a placement there, Bill. <laughs> no doubt. that was, She didn't hit it hard. She just rolled it off her hand right into the middle court. 6-1, Newark blitzing out front right away. Naomi Sweeney back at the line here. Strong server for the Lady Norseman. Naomi leads the team in aces. A little pass set over to the right side and doesn't get over. That's four hits. 7-1. What a powerful, powerful lead. This is exactly what we wanted to happen, and we talked about coming out strong and playing Lady Norseman ball, and they're doing this right from the get-go. Beautiful, Beautiful serve. Beauty right over the top. They go out to Tolki. Up. They got the touch, but it went out of play. Want to push that up in the air or down. Tolki in the two position now. She'll rotate to the back row after this. She'll serve and then set on that serve. Number 13, Kaylee Field, I think. Kaylin Field. Seven to two. And great play by Cassidy Adams, now a veteran of the team. And here comes Megan Williams. Megan Williams, six kills in set number two. Maddie Malone, maybe the all-time best server in school history, serving 97% in her career right now. And oh, oh, Maddie was there to get a hand Gotta keep you there. Yeah. Hate to lose Malone on that first one. Text Matt Meyer, do you have his number? I do not. Tolkien to serve, Phil. We'll see she's. She'll set, she'll come up and set as well. They'll go to Malone. Up to Chapman, Chapman just touches it and they nearly get the kill. They'll free ball it over. Transition she'll get something good over. here. They'll go out to Williams, Williams off the hands. Free ball it over. Slide to Chapman. Chapman pounds it down for the kill. Nice slide there. To assist for Taylor Christian. Taylor Back. sure playing strong. I like her mixing it up. She's doing a great job with that. I think she's got rid of the jitter. She looks good. Sets have been spot on. And we've got a sub coming in here. Morgan Long it looks like they're going to. 
a Newark lead here. Morgan's a great server, confident with her at the line. Serves it in, Tolkien with the set. And a wide open kill. Yeah, that was, that's the freshman Schluter from the left side. Nine to four, five point lead. You should see the scoreboard now. Number 12, Mary Zettel, the libero serving. Quick call by Maggie Scott on the defensive end, communicating things. Maggie will nice. take it. Back row attack from Maddie Malone. She jumped almost to the front of the net in she order loves, to get that kill. She loves that set, Phil. She does. 10-4. Taylor, Taylor Christian serving. Taylor Christian serving close to 90%. Nice job by Maggie. We'll set up Williams. Williams off the hands and she give her a kill. kill. That was circa 2018 state championship point right there. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah right. there you go. <laughs> Taylor Christian with four assists now. Her second serve. Newark up seven. Saw the dump coming. Way to talk. I heard a lot of talk on that. KJ hits it deep. Uh, Miss hit. First hitting error. First error of the game for the Lady Norseman. Number 14, Lexi Roach will serve for Dakota. 11-5, service is up. Nice pass. Go back to a nine position and oh. just missed. Wow. I saw, it looked like it just wow. missed left. The it line judge like almost so, called it. Yeah, it was so close to the line. Just missed it. Nice deep serve there. We'll get a set for Malone right here. Pounds it down. Tolkien digs it up. Another dink attempt. Naomi spots Beautiful. it for a perfect kill. Snuck it in right over the top of that blocker there. You don't have to hit it hard, friends. That's just smart work by Naomi. Cassidy Adams into the game to serve now for the Lady Norseman. The 12-6 lead. She always goes to that spot. That's a double. Double hit. No ace. Not an ace, but she likes it. She'll yeah. take the point. 13 to six. Yeah, I guess they did call two. She'll go to that five spot again. Hit Way it out. wide. Hit wide. Newark up 14 to six, and Coach Tolkien has got to be contemplating another timeout. Uh, I, I see her one, grinning right? right now. Fifth hitting error. And that hitting error, is a, we credit a lot of that to our strong blockers, and it really intimidates you sometimes to, to, to have those blockers up there. Nice dig, Maggie. Out really to Malone. Malone crushes oh, it down! Beautiful, 15 to She 10. has five kills now in the match. Another timeout. They use their last timeout of set number one here. Dakota has Newark leads 15 6. We'll, we'll be right back. Oh, fourth, fourth, fourth. Yeah, this is her fourth, 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 fourth serve. serve. 15 to six, Lady Norseman lead. This is still set one here, 15 six. Timeout, all back row attack. That and she a got great it. Swing. Tolkien got a great swing on that one. That, that was out of pure need right there, and Tolkien got it. Well, I'm sure Coach Tolkien said in the timeout, we got to go to our big gun here. 
Service is up. Good dig. Malone will just put it over and give Can't her the kill. Yeah. Wow. That pass by Maggie Scott, she gets the assist, her second of the night. Chapman back in, Maggie Scott back to the line. This will be her sixth serve of the set. 16 to seven, Lady Norseman lead. Set Tolke. Nice. Up. Oh. Oh. A rare, rare, rare mistake by Maddie Malone. She was trying to place that pass into the back yeah, left corner. She just mishandled that. You don't see yeah, that too often. Went a little low, a little lower than she anticipated. 16 to eight, service up. We go to Malone, no pass set to Malone and she'll pound it. Stepped on the line, I think. No, it they gotta replay it. Well. She thought he was back row attack. But She's she a front, front row, row player. Right. Yeah, he, and, and he realized the, it right away. Yeah, he did and he messed up on a kill for Maddie Malone. Well, that's too bad, but get it right back. She's front row. Even their fans are here screaming, back row attack, back row attack. But Maddie is indeed front row. We'll set Tolkien on the piggyback. Nice Maggie will back set. Block in the middle. We don't always run that triple. There's that right side attack and the block and give them, I thought she was out of play. Oh, wow. Saves it. They'll set Chapman, Chapman off the hand. What a dig! And though they're gonna say a yep. four call. Oh, that was a big. A weird circumstance right there, 16-9. Momentum in the favor of, of the Indians, though they are down seven. That's only their second point. They've won off of their own serve. Coach Tolke trying to work. Miss spot, Malone with another kill. That's seven for the night. She is just a beast out there. Such a strong swing, such great accuracy. Coach Tolke all over the down rough, trying to get a illegal spots, uh, saying we're out of rotation. Getting in her ear, it could get her a point. Sweeney with a hard serve, but yeah. it's gonna be deep. 17-10, Newark up seven. Quick conversation. Maddie Malone up on decks to serve. Nice serve. Got Malone off base, and Malone nearly gets another nice kill. Stick. They'll get something good here, though. They'll go Chapman on the slide, off her hands, give her the, her second kill. And she loves that slide, Phil. <laughs> she, she just really at home with that play. Malone's back to serve now. Williams back into the front row. 18-10, set one. What a dig. Oh, way to get a hand on it. That's Tolkien's third kill. Second time Malone has gone one serve and out. Tolkien now serving back row. They'll go up to Chapman. Chapman will push it over, trying to find right a idea. hole. Just a little deep. Little battle at the net. No push it out. To go out wide to Williams. Williams trying to find the spot, hits it deep. It looked like there was a touch on that one, but nobody called that. Coach was calling for that touch. 18 to 12, six point lead for the Lady Norseman. Tolkien will continue to serve. Excellent server as well. She'll go to Malone, they'll set Malone. Oh, Malone Taylor will just that. free ball it over. Chapman says no soup for you. Up to Chapman. Chapman pounds it down and Tolkien digs it up. And it looks deep. Probably would have been. They'll go back row attack for Malone and she'll hit it off of Tolkien's hand. Everyone's sizing nice everybody speed, else Maggie. up. Back row attack again for Malone. She'll change speeds up. What a rally here. Short one and they get the, Naomi just got caught off. Nice try. Nice little think kill by Schluter. 18-13, five point lead. Coach Tanya Grayson asking for the timeout. That's all right. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be right back.
She'll hit it short. Malone, and that's a kill from the back row, just a change up, 19 to 15. 19, 16. 15. We got it. We need a little rally buster here. They're on a uh, six to one that's run. Long. We'll and that, that. The big first to 20. 20. <laughs> Taylor Christian, her third serve. Nice block. Oh, block out of play. Ran the net, just couldn't get it down. The freshman with the kill from the left side again. Three point lead for the Lady Norsemen. They've enjoyed at least a seven point lead. What's the highest, Bill? Eight, or yes, eight point. Newark was up 17, 17 to 10 at one point. They were up. And they're on a. 17-9 was the, the last lead. It's only had three points since then. Service is up. They'll set Malone again. Nope, they Williams. Williams cross court. Miscommunication. Oh, Naomi somehow Naomi. saves it. And they miss hit, 21-18. Big save by Naomi Sweeney right there. That was a great save by her. I like that effort. Push to finish here, push to finish. Newark got a little rattled uh, there and miscommunicated. They're talking it over. Cassidy Adams, this will be her fifth serve. 21-18. Service is up. They'll go to Tolkien on that. Back to the right side and they got a nice touch. Good up, Maggie. Maggie somehow got up there. Malone pounds it off and it's in. Blocked by Schluter. That was a nice block. Malone hitting just south of 300 right now. This is exactly what we expected, a fight to the end here. 21-19. Service is up. Uh, Give him an ace. Cassidy's got to run out of the way. And it's a one point match. Boy, what a rally. All right, side out for the blue here is what we need. Great save by Taylor and Maggie there. It was a little, took us out of our system for sure. Coming deep to the corner. Should get something good here. They go to Naomi, surprisingly. Maddie Malone was wide open on the outside. We gotta go to Malone at that point, 100% of the time. Maddie Malone, it's 21-21. Nothing Grayson against Naomi, but. Right, Grayson has one time out left, they have none. What a dig. Great save. Unbelievable. Should get something good here. Up to Malone, Malone off their hands and they get the block. And the momentum is all Dakota's 22-21. Grayson, she's only used one, is that correct? Yep. Yeah. She tried to use it right there. She's got to walk up to the ref and get the call. Malone pounds it down, gets the kill. Good job not getting that timeout. Tied up 22. We got a burn burner here. All right. Maggie Scott back to the line. Such a solid server for us. She's six of six right now with one ace. 22-22, fans all over her back. Service is up. Piggyback, they'll touch it. Good dig, up to Malone. Malone pounds it off their hand, give her another kill. She has nine kills. She's gotta keep going to her, can't go to anybody else right yep. now. Right now you just keep going to her. Maggie with the service. We'll set Tolkey. Tolkey with a kill. 23-23, back and forth. Wow. What a Real. game. What a game indeed. Tied up what a rally. 13-5 rally. Crowd is on their feet. We'll set Malone. 
Pounds it down for another kill. Her 10th. It's set point, friends. It doesn't matter how you win it. Cassie Adams with biggest serve, or Naomi Sweeney with her biggest serve. They'll push it. They'll set Malone. Let's end this game. Off Let's her hands, and that ends it. 25, 23. Give Malone kill number 11 on her 21st attack. Wow, what a furious rally by the Lady Indians. They were down 18 to 10. We'll be right oh. back. I'll hold up. Nice to do that again. We needed every one of those points. Maggie, I, let's see, she ended up with five points and an ace. Oh, six points and an ace. She'll get something good here to start things off. They'll go to Chapman. Chapman off of the back row. And they'll push it over. Out to William, or Malone, I mean. Malone, Malone pounds it out, but it was be wide left. Her fourth error. She was just trying to go line right there with the blockers up. One nothing in favor of the Indians. Service. Malone pounds it down! That looked like an angry hit right there. She yeah, she, she said enough of that. Well, she, she didn't like the fact she missed the last one. I'm telling you, if she makes a mistake, it's like bring it back to me because I'm going to show you what I got here. Naomi might have served that one long. Tied up at one. Maggie gets it. Pass over to Malone. Malone will roll oh, this time and just change it up for her 13th. Give her a baker's dozen. 14 assists for the junior. Sweeney to the libero. You have to keep it tight. Wide Spin left. Out. Three to one. Can we go Facebook Live? Is that allowed? Uh, if it's on my page, we could. It's it is illegal. We've got permission from my sports wire to do it. I, I'm not sure. A double. Double hit. Yep. Let me see if I could do it from my sports wire. Off to another good start, folks. Four to one. Right well, off the net. Good. good dig there. We'll go right back to Malone. Malone had wide open spot. Naomi pushes it up, back out to Malone, and they're gonna call a double on that one. First air by Taylor Christian. All right, number five back, Lexi Evanson, senior for Dakota. I'm glad you're here, Bill, because I'm not talking quite so much. That's I'm all right. I'm trying to update people with scores Keep on Facebook. Keep doing that. Oh, a nice kill by Kolke from the left side. That was no doubt. 4-3, Newark up. Number five, Evanson back. Again. Up to Malone, Malone off their hands. Yeah, Give her the kill. The kill. Sure who was going 14 for, for her. Boy, she's really putting it on another show here. Yeah, she is. Back to serve. Williams Maddie back Malone. to the front row. Ace, oh. oh three ball Boy, over. I thought that was gonna stay. We'll go to Chapman. Chapman will just touch it, very smart play. Bill, she was so good at that the other night. I talked about that in my article. Finding that open spot, she knows she's a good tipper. All right, Newark up, I'm live on my page. Maddie Malone, oh, rare. rare error. How many serves does she now have in the match? Uh, Newark won first set, 25-23. They're winning six to four. Are we winning six to four? Six yes. Six to four, we're up, yep. I'm, I'm live on, on Facebook right now. My Sports Wire on Phil Chapman's Facebook. Tolkien again, but nice dig by Maddie Malone. Williams hits it off the hands and they dig it. 
They try to set it across court, not able to do it. Back to Newark serve. Uh, Lexi Long. All right, Morgan Long. Sorry about that, folks. Morgan Long back to serve. Nice. Go back to Tolkien. KJ gets a hand KJ. on it. A little miscommunication. Williams will try to put it in the back corner. Oh! Big block! Williams. Williams. Williams, Williams, there. Eight, four. Williams and KJ with the assisted yes. block. Newark up. Newark up eight to four in second set. They won the first one 25-23. Morgan with Beautiful a hard serve. serve. Ooh, that Throwing didn't look that legal. Like a double there. Coming back row. Yeah, a little, little behind. Speed, yep. A little out of sync. Might nice. have been deep, but they played it. They go up to Williams. Williams hits it. They dig it again. Free ball coming over. Should get something good here. They're going to go to Malone. Malone back row attack, and they hit it high. Keep it alive. Another free ball. It Malone or Williams right here. Malone off the hands. Kill. Give her the kill. Her second of the night. We talked to her afterwards about when she likes to heat up like this. That's when she starts feeling the mojo. She's got it now. Hey, if you're joining us, uh, we're we're gonna broadcast this uh, tape delayed. Uh, we're having internet issues here at uh, four. Uh, oh, I can't remember Freeport. Uh, tag friends, let them know that you're on here. Uh, tag different people. Uh, right now, Newark won set one, 25-23. They're up 9-4 here in set two. Uh, Malone now with 14 kills. Uh, Chapman with three, Williams with two. Uh, 17 assists for Taylor Christian. Uh, tag some friends, let them know that uh, we're on here. Uh, apologize for the internet. Uh, not working. We're doing our best. I'm going to try to have the best angle I can, uh, but uh, not the best view without having the camera up. We'll flip it around. Timeout. It was a timeout for uh, Dakota. Morgan Long with some really nice serves here. Let's get the last two points on a block and a kill by Williams. Trying to That's go a down great the touch. Out to William. Williams pounds oh, it down. Can't get shot. it. Free ball coming over. Keep going to her. Back out to Williams. They're out of system, definitely. Back to Malone. Malone pounds it. Nearly oh. got it. Back out to Williams. Oh, she annihilated that one. Give her kill number three. That's what the doctor ordered. Morgan is going to go back to serve again. I've got her down for her sixth serve of the match. Yep. 10 to four, Lady Norseman out ah. front again. Tolki back to serve. Last time she did that, she reeled off about four. Service is up. They'll pass it over, get it out to Williams. Williams pounds it off their hand. Williams definitely jumping much better. They're going to go back row attack for Malone. Malone pounds it! We're seeing a Durand reflection of what happened there. We go to Malone, we go to Williams, we go to Malone, we go to Williams. Taylor Christian back to serve. 11-5. Out of bounds. Fourth hitting error of the set for Dakota. How many kills do you have for Malone? I think it's 15. Uh, 15 is right, Phil. 11 in the first four now. Thank you. Taylor with the service. She goes back corner. Nice idea. Rolls it over the top. Maggie right there. Back out to Williams. Williams pounds it and just deep. The hair, just a hair long. 12-6, Newark. We're Same. hearing not showing up Facebook Live. Uh, they need to go to Philip Chapman. 
It's on mine, on Philip Number Jennings. Number 12 back, Mary Zettel to serve. Newark up 12 to six. Set for Williams, off the hand, nearly got a kill. Nice dig Malone by Malone. with a great dig. Pass to Williams, she'll touch it over, trying to sneak it over the top. They don't go to the middle much. Line judge was waiting. He was on it though, it was the right call. Senior Casey Beast with the middle serve, or middle set. 12-7 to uh, Newark. Megatron has it, they'll go back row attack for Malone, pounds it down off of Tolkien. Back to Tolkien. And she gets the kill. Malone now with 31 attacks in this match. 12 to eight, nice play there by, it looked like Tollefson. 12 to eight, four point lead for the Lady Norseman. Service is short. What nice a Nice dig by Maggie. Oh, a kill! What a kill by Maddie Malone! Oh, I love it. Are you kidding me? 13-8, Cassidy Adams in the serve. What a great spot by the All-Stater. There was no more room in the court. Cassidy serving five for five right now. Newark up five. Big oh. block, solo block by the Katie sophomore. Her, that in the stat book. her biggest block of the year. Oh, that was beautiful. She just waited for it, saw the back row attack. Tolkien's been taking a hard middle. And right now she's like, bring it. I want to do that again. That was fun. And they're off system. They're going to get a free ball. Malone is in the front, by the way. Ooh, Ooh nice Ooh, tight pass. Nice. They'll go out to Malone. Malone hits it, doesn't get the kill. Here comes their freshman. Malone, right back to her. She'll go from the middle and pounds it to an open spot. She took that, crossed her body there and hit that corner. It was a beautiful shot. Another timeout, 15-8. Wow. All our timeouts, even on Facebook, sponsored by Mark's Auto Service, 815-695-5500. Tara Kunkel's watching. She's one of our great <laughs> sponsors. We appreciate all of our sponsors. Uh, in this, we appreciate all the people making it possible. Uh, pass the word, tag people. Newark won set number one, 25-23. They're up to 15 to eight in set number two. Uh, tag friends in this post so they know that uh, we're live here. We, we have uh, internet here, but it is not connecting through our program. It's a very technical situation, but uh, this is the best that we can do to serve our, our people uh, and not normally allowed, but uh, because we are a paid uh, program, uh, we uh, are putting it through here. We'll put the game live. You can see my program right there. There's our sponsor. Here we go. I'm accepting more friend requests in this hour than I have in quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> the last year, right? 15 to 8. <laughs> Abby Cross Schluter court and hit it out. We're glad people are tuning in to try to get whatever they can. We are at the exact same juncture as we were last match, 16-8. Yes, good eye on that build. That's what Hopefully he's paid big can, bucks to do. Yeah, right. Yeah. We can hold that lead this time. Cassidy's here. serving, flirting with that line. Nice K dig. Good KJ hands, with a. Hands. They're going to call it double. It. KJ gets a ball handling error. She has a few of them this year, but she has several sets as well. 16 to nine. What do we got back <coughs> here? Number 14. 14, Lexi Roach. Tolkien's still in the back row. Service is up. Maggie. Waited the last second to get that. Maggie will put it over. Maggie somehow get it. Malone with the attack. Free ball coming over. She'll get something real nice here. They're going to go out to Williams. Oh, are you Taylor. kidding me? Wow. Are you what kidding me? She fooled me. I didn't see that what coming. And she can't go out to Williams. She's I, I, I know. I, I, I do that all the time. I was fooled by that oh, one. That was a beautiful dump by Taylor. She just caught them off guard completely. 17-9. Maggie Scott serving. 
Oh, Maddie Maddie with their second block. 18 to nine, Newark with their largest lead of the game. Largest lead of the night, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Maggie Scott with her 11th serve. Oh. Just push it over, Chapman with the dig. Out to Malone. Malone, got Cross it! Court, got it! That was for sure. That was 18 kills. Fans aren't gonna like that when they're down 19-9. Slow rolling back. It looked into me, was I wrong? For sure, in. Yeah. For sure. You saw it better than I did. We right at you, coming right, right at me. Tolkien, Coach Tolkey didn't like it. Maggie oh, Scott six with her more 12. Big ones away from state, one at a time here, Lady Norseman. Wide left. Tol Out, hitting here. Tolkey, uh, Chapman was up for that solo block. Newark with a dominating and the cheering. <laughs> the group is getting the the high schoolers are getting the fans standing. Scott with overpass. It. No touch. She tried to touch it. Naomi that's on the an overpass. Ace. No, that's an nope. ace for Meggie Scott. No touch. All right. No timeouts left for Tolkien. Possible yellow card coming. Oh, Possible she's yellow really card. Barking. She's barking. No yellow card, but I'm not sure why we're waiting. I think the yellow card is coming. No. Oh, if she she better not have gotten this overturned. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. They're just you having can't a conversation. Take a point away now. No, nope, no it's way. already been called. 21-9. So we're seeing it right now. It's 25-23 in set one, 21 to nine. Lady Norrisman dominating set two. I'm not sure why they're having the conversation with the coaches. The coaches aren't owed anything at this point. Uh, the call's been made. Call Maggie Scott to serve. All right, four more. Four more. This is the 15th serve by Maggie Scott. Oh, going deep, oh. Going deep and you don't see that. Maggie hasn't served long. I don't know in how long. Literally, uh, she, I don't know if she's had an error in the postseason. All right. Newark needs four to win. They're up 11. They were up 12. For those of you keeping score at home. Service is short. Look at Malone, that. what a Look play! Maddie Malone just being smart. She has 19 kills. Such heads up volleyball. The Indian fans have quieted down quite a bit. Naomi Sweeney serving her ninth. Three to go, friends. Three, Three to, go to go to head back to state for the third year in a row. Up for Tolkey. She gets the kill. 22 to 11. Newark's got to play attack mode. Yeah, can't get uh, conservative now. Tolkien in the middle front. She'll have two more trips, two more rotations. Service is up. Uh, Big block there by Tolkien. 22 to 12. 22 to 12. Net. Two points to heading back to state, friends. Maddie Malone, the All-Stater serving. She has only served one serve each time she's been in the back. This is only her fourth serve of the match. They got the touch. They'll set Malone in the back row. Double block, nothing doing for Malone. Tolkey, they got the touch again. That's what you're looking for. Go to Chapman. Chapman just touches it, couldn't get much of it. Oh, overpass. Williams. Overpass Williams with the kill. Newark one point away from heading back to state. Her fourth kill, by the way. Maddie Malone to serve. Match point. Feel it now, folks. Big oh! block! Oh! Taylor and Chapman get the block! Oh, They're wow. heading to state again. 
25 to 12. Just a dominating effort. Besides the one lull in the first set, otherwise complete domination. Wow! Unbelievable Lady Norseman heading back to state for the third year in a row, facing a quality Dakota Indians team. This is unreal. Newark will be the first in the advent of the- uh, hang, hang on, Bill, hang on, Bill. All right, let's talk about it. In the advent of the four class system, Newark's the only team to go back since then. It's back in 2008, 2007, 2008, three straight times. Incredible. It's impressive. It's Very impressive. So proud of these girls. Well, let's let's talk about stats, people. I, I assume you guys can hear me on uh, on Facebook. Maddie Malone. I have her down for 19, 19, 19 kills. Uh, Maddie or uh, Megan Williams with four kills. Maddie Chapman with three kills. Taylor Christian with an unbelievable dump. Uh, one kill for Naomi Sweeney. Three blocks for Maddie Chapman. She's the all-time leader in blocks. She has 63 now in the season, uh, which is now uh, the best ever by a Lady Norseman. Uh, a block by Taylor Christian. KJ Free said a, a block and a solo block. Uh, the big solo block by uh, against Tolkey. Maddie Malone, two blocks. Megan Williams, a block. 22 assists by uh, Taylor Christian, who's definitely inching uh, towards that uh, all-time record. I will tell you, I was so impressed by her tonight. She showed no signs of nerves, nothing. She looked absolutely amazing tonight. Yeah, Taylor Christian did look amazing. I'll agree. I mean... Uh, she was strong. She had one ball handling error, and that ball was spinning hard when she got that error. So yeah. pretty impressive. Did a great job, and, um, you know, the, the girls were just dominant. Um, like I said, three times back to state, or three times to state. Phil, do we know who we're playing yet because that match should be well, long over. Yeah, that it's should be. It's either uh, going to be Athens. Just north of uh, Springfield. I that can quick check that, Phil, if you want me to grab that. Or oh, my. Greensburg, you think I'm not going to check that bad Greenville boy? Greenville North, <laughs> Northwestern, which is a co-op of Valmyra. Newark is going to play Athens. They won 25-7, 25-4. They, they are now 30. Hold on, Phil. Let me uh, check and, this. And Illini Bluffs won 25-22, 25-20 against Milford. Eight. We're still, still waiting on... Uh, NC, NCOE. Athens is 31 and 5, Phil. 31 and 5. 31 and 5. Hey, shout out to 5B's Catering watching on our Facebook Live. Uh, we appreciate Tim Badal. Give them a call, 5B's Catering. We have lots and lots and lots of sponsors that uh, uh, we are so thankful for. Uh, huge win. 5B's Catering, Underhill Truck in Central Limestone, Heritage Baked Goods, that's Coach Grayson's, Papa John's Pizza, uh, Wiffles Hybrids, Dolphin Car Wash in Morris, West Hauling, and Landscape. We're going to go over stats here in a second. Uno Volleyball, Tara Kunkel, uh, Real Estate, Boomba, Mark's Auto Service, Village Bible Church in Plano, uh, Finer Finish uh, in uh, Finer Finish, Matt Tough Toy, Virtues in Motion, Dance Studio in Yorkville, Jets Design Shop, Altitude Trampoline Park, Knock and Feather Custom Archery, All Points Printing, Dave's Auto, Row Custom Transport, Jimbo's Grill in Millington, and so many other people that have supported uh, throughout the year. We appreciate them. Uh, definitely our, our player of the game, our Papa John's player of the game, uh, <laughs> no Ma <laughs> Maddie yeah. Malone. She uh, was four or five serving, didn't get a lot of serves, two blocks, but 19 kills for her huge game uh, for uh, a lot of these girls. Taylor Christian right up there as well with 22 assists, uh, one kill, five for five serving. We didn't even talk about that, Bill. Uh, what a what a job she did serving. Uh, Morgan, Morgan Long, Long, she got in there. She, she was uh, four of uh, six. Maggie Scott, 14 of 15. Naomi Sweeney, uh, 13 of 14. Two aces for Maggie Scott. Uh, Cassidy Adams, uh, nine of nine uh, serving. Um, 
again, Maddie Chapman with three uh, kills. Hopefully we get the digs up here uh, soon. I uh, want to give a shout-out to uh, Josh Cater and the Smoking Popes as well. We appreciate <laughs> <Right>. them. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, we're, to get two victories like this over such a fine program, and I had one of our coaches uh, that predicted the score would be 25-19, 25-16 for a total of 35 points for them. And they Turned had 35, out to be 35 points. 35 points. Well, Shout out to Barb Scott. <laughs> <laughs> she awesome. did say 35 I points. To, I had to keep track of that one, you know. <laughs> Well, friends, we're gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take them live down yeah. downstairs. I gotta go do interviews. We'll be.